Okay, well, this was just a flight um, with the Cyclops goggles for one of the first times on a very, very sunny, clear day. And I was just looking at the contrast on my screen and seeing into the shadows of the trees and seeing what it looked like. And we could see the, the actual ground as I looked into the sun here. So it was that sort of thing I was doing. Once I um, finished this first two minute flight, I came back down and I had a little play with the camera while it was sitting on the ground and I adjusted the contrast because as I was looking into the sun there, that was quite washed out. But when I adjusted the contrast, it made quite a difference. Anyway, it's only another minute or so of me being a nana flying around here. But this sort of bit also shows as you're going slow what your pig settings are set like and you can see those little wobbles that are happening as I'm just trying to smoothly fly around. Yeah, so there's a few things you can learn once you've got a decent set of goggles and I'm seeing virtually a, 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 an image, you know, it's not as good as this of course because this is supposed HD done at 720, but through the goggles it was a very, very good immersive experience. Um, when I go shooting through those trees next time, I'm hoping that for one I don't hit them and two that the the light and the contrast stays as, as good as it did on this flight with this sun being where it was in the sky as you can see flying towards me here this camera is showing a bit of a, a washout it was a little bit worse in the, in the goggles at the time anyway just keep watching I come back on I'll tell you a few things soon Okay, well that little bit of um, footage that you saw there was just that piece of foam that came out of my uh, Tool Pro case that was jammed underneath, giving it a little bit of angle. It was just held in by one of my battery straps on the provided ZMR good old rubber mounts that was on there. So I'm pretty happy with that footage. I just need a better camera, I think, but I'm happy with the vibrations that come out of totally unbalanced props. Okay, we just saw a little bit of footage where I was using the Quantum Cyclopses. I'm really enjoying them. They're a lot more comfortable and fit better than the old version one um, Quantum do them yourselves. Now, uh, I had a good little item turn up in the post this morning, and it's a lot smaller than what I imagined, uh, but it... I don't know why, but I imagine the screen being the size of the overall product. Um, there it is there. That's the um, OLED screen. That's in the next section of this quantum goggle hack that we're going to call it. Now, I've just been looking at this side bit of plastic here in this spare spot that's here. But we're going to investigate that and pull that open and see. But I think we'll be leaving that for the um, the full vid on putting the actual OLED screen in and making sure that the firmware is doing what it's supposed to be doing to the screen. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe, all the normal things. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike. But thanks for watching. See you next time. Okay, I'll just show you the, the second flight. You might have thought you got away with it there, but... There's another two minutes of flight here. I had changed the, um, the contrast and brightness settings. And uh, maybe I changed it a little too much and I'll back it off. Here was okay though, looking into the sun this time round. It was nowhere near as washed out as that looks in the HD. I could actually see the ground quite clear all the way through all parts of the image. 
So yeah, I'm pretty happy with Cyclops goggles. Um, I think like old Bruce said, good old Bruce on RC model reviews, you couldn't, you can't go wrong buying a pair, I definitely agree. Buy a set of pair of Cyclops goggles and um, join me in hacking them. Okay, I'll see you soon guys. Okay, everyone, if you've hung around that long, thanks very much. Um, just hang around for a few days. I'll have up the next video. The next video will just be showing us how we put that OLED screen in. Okay, stay tuned. Subscribe, like. Once again, just do all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you on the next vid. See ya.